name is Miss T, and that's my daughter Jaquia. And the skin that I am, I look at my color as being vanilla. Because why? Because you're vanilla. Because I'm white. Wait a minute. Because I'm white, or am I something else? You're white. Okay. I have a condition that's called albinism which means your skin is very, very, very light, like a person who is of Caucasian descent, meaning their skin is white. But I actually am African-American like Aaron and Phoenix and Aja and everyone else that's in here. But my skin is very fair, and a lot of people used to tease me about that and make me feel bad. But I think I was about three when that guy told me, don't you ever in your life let anybody tell you, no matter what. And you can see that you're different from everybody in here. But don't ever let anybody tell you that your differences mm -hmm. is going to hinder you. And it has it. Because I'm here today to tell you my story. Do you and know what's hindering me? Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone don't let tell, anybody you, tell you anything that you, that's can't, that do. you can't do. Mm -hmm. you can Just do because of anything. You can do whatever you want to do as long as you yourself... Try and try hard and hard. Well, that's positive. Harder. You can't kill nobody and kick nobody. Right. You can't. It's <laughs> positive. We things. don't need you to be having no Uzis out there. <laughs> yeah, the positive things. You can do anything. You can become a writer, a doctor, a president of the United States, a woman president, the whole thing. You can do it if you want. A politician, okay. the whole bit. Okay? And so that's basically, basically it. We're going to have to go back to those tops. I'm sorry. Okay, so that's basically what I want to tell you. And um, my niece, T, my vanilla, I know that when you were younger, there were certain things because you were, had albinism that we had to make sure that you protected yourself from. And I know all of us were always <laughs> telling you, do you have suntan, sunscreen, sunblock on? It was important with her skin that she had sunblock on, sunscreen. You know how I spray it to protect you from the sun when you go outside? Yeah. She has to have it on. I have to have it. She it's has not, to have it it's on. It's not, I can't go outside without it on. Or my skin, I look like I'm really, I look like my skin's really fair now. But if I don't, I'll be a lobster. You know what color lobster is? Red. I will be bright red. And it hurts. Because my skin will burn and I'll get a whole bunch of big bumps on it, like blisters. blisters. They're called blisters if I don't protect my skin and my eyes. Yes. And she even had to put eyes. it on her scalp, on her, her hair, her where her um, in between, like if her hair was braided like this, we had to put it in between um, her her braids to make sure that she didn't, um, she didn't, uh, the sun didn't touch it. Sun visor. Did you always have a sun visor? I still have a sun visor. <laughs> she has to. My friend Crystal's mom brought me a, a really big, she bought this big match, the <clears throat> nicest hat ever. It's really big. It got the real big brim mm. and it's real floppy and it's real neutral colors and it's I just like a straw. Rims. It is, it's, but it's not. It's not that type of material, but it's really, really, it, it helps. I think I have one of those over like, in our, in our um, dramatic play area for the yep. young ladies. It's a nice hat and it's flexible, but it, it'll cover, it'll cover her. She always had to have something like that on too. And that we were always around her. She was always around us. I didn't treat her any different than I treated any of the other kids. She was required to do everything that the other kids, um, other kids did. I didn't want her feeling sorry for herself at all. I want her to be very proud and um, and um, and speak out. I might have pushed that a little bit too much. <laughs> we got that might have been a lesson I should have taught her. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> I um, the big trouble. I used to get very upset if we got on a bus or anything because she was always with me. And if people were staring at her, I'd get more upset. I'd be like, what are you staring at? And it started to affect them more than it did me because uh, I was under the impression of don't let anybody yeah. in. <laughs> what are you don't staring at? Don't let anybody in. And, and I'm sitting there on the bus doing my thing. And you're yeah. like, what are you doing? Like, Why are you staring at her like yes. that? Like, uh, I, because people needed to be aware. In those times, I think people are more aware of the differences and the diversity of people than they were than they were then. And so I took her everywhere. 
I didn't make her think that she had to stay home because we were going here and there. That didn't happen at all. It didn't happen at all. I even took her to uh, oh, California yes, on the bus. <laughs> and when we, got the the, when we got to Arizona, I tell this story all the time. I was the only one that had to wear this, and I remember the outfit. I had on a thick old green mm -hmm. sweatshirt with long mm -hmm. sleeves. Long pants in 110 degree <laughs> weather. The sun was oh, very hot. Oh my God! She would have just. I would have had to worry about her having blisters on the bus. What? Yeah. What could I do on the bus? How could I cool her off? Oh no, no, she had to cover up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was you thinking about today. I was thinking about illness. Of it was very well, hot. It was, was right. and I was never yeah. in that temperature element. Right, right, right. right. I didn't, so know, what didn't know, know what would happen, but as I knew I would. didn't want her on the bus crying and in pain from sun poisoning. Uh, sun poisoning. It probably would have been sun poisoning. It would have been because the blister is poisoning. Yeah. Yes. And so those are some of the things that I uh, wanted to uh, let her to talk about. I don't think that the people that um, who have albinism, like my niece does, you don't have to worry about their intelligence. Oh, giving me no excuses. <laughs> Get it done, or else you know what? She got a little boom boom spike to that time. I got in trouble. She got in. Mm. She got in trouble with her nieces and nephews. I mean, cousins got in trouble, and there was a group of them. You think this group is bad? Oh, mm. uh, that was a big group. Yeah. <laughs> that was a big group, and they were close. And we all lined and up and got beat. And they all got lined up and they got beat. Or they got <laughs> time out or whatever. I didn't even want to hear the story. We didn't get no time out. They didn't do no time they out. They did. Then. Wait a minute. I Not did. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't we get time out. out. You <laughs> Writing on a, a paper bag, Johnny Good bags. Oh, yeah, we had to write, but we ain't do time out. Well, that was <laughs> time out as far as I was concerned. <laughs> Get over there and do it and take some time out and think about it and write. Uh, and I used to not have to have paper, but I used to cut up the Johnny Eagles, big Johnny Eagles bags, and they had to write on the Johnny Eagles bag. Not one whole big page, they had to do them in columns. So. And I had to do my was a lot. I ain't even meant because she caught me and Mikey and made me write a thousand times. I will not talk back to the teacher. Right. And that wasn't allowed outside the whole summer. That's what my mom did. That's what they're like, really? They yeah. all did that. But with Wayne, we she had to do it too. <laughs> all right, Tim. Do all disciplinary right. things. So listen, when y'all get old enough to, to write like that, you'll be writing. Y'all will be writing. I, I don't know if I'll be able to tell you that because I I'm will. getting older and older. And so that's about it. Yeah, but we passed some um, things on. And so <laughs> yeah. I just want to tell you something <laughs> about my, uh, my niece. Um, Mikey, eat your pizza. She was a, she's intelligent. No, um, like she was she was a typical um typical um, girl. She was a typical tomboy. Tomboy. She was a, <laughs> you can't have any more until you eat all your pizza. <laughs> <laughs> About it. No, I, didn't want to. I know, I just want to tell you that. She cut that before it even started. Don't get another piece. Wait, listen. I'm ready for it. I might have to edit that. Yeah. I don't know what you're wasting. This stuff is good. Oh, I'm not wasting it. She I just said, want to come on random. Yes, yes, I don't I'm waste on. my food. She said, I love pizza. I have pizza. Okay. Her off. But anyway. Um, and so no, I, she, she had no problems. There was no problems with school or anything like that. I didn't let T think that she was any different um, than any of the other children. There was nothing special, special about her at all. She was, she was made to be in the environment and to cope and to be flexible as, as the rest of the children. And she did very, very well. She, uh, she did very well. Very, I'm very proud of my niece. Leticia. Thank you. Tyler Proud Jones. of Jones. Leticia Willis. Leticia. Her name is Leticia Willis, Willis Jones. Jones. Now listen, here's the other thing. <laughs> my, my niece, Tisha, her husband is also Albina. 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 Mikey. Her, and this is These her daughter, like and her daughter is not Albina. Really good. That's the difference in the variations of who we are in our in our in our. No, I just didn't think I was mixed. Uh, oh wait, <laughs> that was the funniest. I thought I, I was mixed. That. That. <laughs> but the reason why Jaquan thought she was mixed was because a friend of mine came over with their two kids, and they thought that uh, they she asked they asked her what color was she, and she was like, "I'm mixed," and I said, "Wait a minute, you're what?" She said, "I'm mixed." 
I said, why do you think you're mixed? Because I explained to her at a real early age about me, but she was younger. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, what makes you think that you're mixed? And she was like, because you're white and my dad's black. So I'm mixed. I said, no. <laughs> I'm black and your dad's black. You're black. <laughs> but because the, the other kids didn't know, it made her question right. exactly, well, wait a minute now, is it, what is it? And I, so she thought she was mixed. Now she knows differently, but that was the funniest. She was like, Sorry, I said, I'm not, you're not mixed. She said, all right, I'm not mixed. She's like, oh, okay. And went back to playing. <laughs> I don't think that has to do with anything with color for us being black because some, some people of other races don't understand um, <coughs> Different tones in the um, within our um, within our race. Um, they favor a darker, a, a lighter child over the darker child. That's always been. That's just all the way there. My daughter Danny believed that she was not my daughter. <laughs> she was not my daughter. She belonged to um, a, my neighbor, Mommy Martin. And I, I'm oh, like, yeah. how could you? be Mommy Marva's daughter, she lives over there and you're always here. I didn't get that, I, don't, I just didn't get that. But she she didn't think that she belonged to me because she was lighter complexion. She was lighter than her sisters. And I would say Lisa and Dieter. And, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and she just thought that she belonged to Mommy Margaret. Listen and she her. used to eat black jelly beans because she thought that they was going to make her dark, remember? <laughs> wow. <laughs> she did, she used to eat all the black jelly beans out of things so she, she thought it was going to make her darker. <laughs> But um, she was light. Mm -hmm. She was a little light. She was as light as she was like Phoenix. Like Phoenix, but she yeah. wasn't as light as Leilani. She had big puppy um, ponytails, mm -hmm. and she was much bigger than her age. I took her to Chinese one time. She was only about, about two years old, and someone was asking her come she wasn't in school. Big healthy girl. But I told her, oh, my daughter's only two. They said, oh, I thought she was five. But well, here she was sitting in the. <laughs> I was like, look at her. Where do they think she was? A five-year-old special needs child? Because she's sitting in the, in the buggy like a two-year-old. You know what I mean? Place. You know, not very whatever. Right. Michael, sit at place. Michael, sit at Here. Okay. I told you. Are you done? Mm. I mean, I'm going to pull your name up so you don't put it So that's basically it. But that's what I really appreciate from you guys. Erin. You're not eating your stuff, you pizza. Who? Me? That's mine. Are you gonna eat it? You don't eat uh, it. I'm just fixing this thing. <laughs> if not, Quail, eat it. <laughs> yes, I will. Right. <laughs> as long as it's done, it's still, it's still expensive. But I just, I just, I just wanted to come in and share a little bit of Max, Aaron. Aaron. I just wanted to spend, come and spend a day with you guys and see how you guys feel about the skin you're in and share my experience is about the skin I'm in. So I just want you guys and how Nana spins, you know, feels about the skin that she's in and Miss Keisha and everybody else. And it's very good to see that you guys love the skin that you're in. But if you ever run into any problems with people bullying you or teasing you or making you feel bad no about it, you can always come to one of us, no matter did. what, huh. and I talk to us, okay? Did. Okay. I got bullied because I was tall. I got bullied because I was dark. I got bullied for being light. <laughs> I got bullied. I didn't even, even that When light. I was younger, I was a lot lighter. Oh. Since I got older, my color got well, lighter. Well, it was light, 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 light. But I was, lighter. I was like, maybe face or complexion when I was a kid. They picked on me because I was chunky and I was light. Okay. And then my hair was all the way down my back, so they really picked on me. The girls wanted to pull my hair. Yeah, and beads, So they were pulling my beads out and... Yeah, it was a lot. That's how it was like You got picked on because you was dark male? Mm -hmm. And you got the prettiest complexion. Yeah, she, I, know uh, I told you, mother. I'm not going to use a Miele. I fuss with her all the time. Mm -hmm. Please, why are you naming her a Miele? I know, Lay. <laughs> Lay. We more Miele. Is that, name not, is that Lay. crazy? Lay. And she was so, she was so, uh, anything that you Ooh. don't, anything that you don't like, I'm going to do. That she named that baby That's a Miele. 
Yeah, your rebel. When you rebelled up and gave you a name, well, oh, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I like talked to her all the time. Why? And, and, and the man and baby. And Michael, 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 Michael. And my she was like, was your mom drunk when she named you? I said, then again, I can't even answer that question. <laughs> I didn't like it. I didn't answer. I couldn't answer. I couldn't answer. I was the baby. I don't know why. I don't even no, know where that baby came from. I the who was teasing me and said, I was like, that's how y'all feel about it. Wow. Yes. Yes. She wait, said, wait. yes. I have to drop my name. How about I was? Like, you want ah. these? You want these in? I mean, so, the crust. So what? you want them? Yep. Pass them on down to the road. Yeah, I did. I ate the cheese part. <laughs> you wait. You ate all the cheese out of it? Not all of it. Uh -huh. Ninety-nine point nine percent of it. I got. What <laughs> <laughs> is that? Mikey, <laughs> Mikey, listen. <laughs> So, listen, you're just, you're just done. You're just, I need to have to hurry up and call back. So, I have a question. When we get finished eating, who would like to take a picture with their t-shirts on? Yay. Well, they're all going to do that, and then they're going to go to bed. Yay! We can take a picture. They're going to bed. And Miss T. <laughs> Miss T has to be in the picture, too. The skin that we're in. All right. So, do you guys, uh, so you're going to, you're going to kindergarten. Who's ready? Who's all excited? Everybody's Yay. ready to go to kindergarten? I'm excited. When are you going to graduate? You're not going to kindergarten. Layla, how old are you? She's not four? going to kindergarten. Yet. Are you going to kindergarten? No. This year? You'll no. be back here next year? Yes. Oh, okay. Not no Layla. Can you please hold that cup? With two hands. Can you hands, please hold that right. cup with two hands, please? Mommy, I don't know shoes. So, when you guys go to school, you're going to have different class. You're going to have different classmates, huh? Yes. You're gonna have all the so here's the here's the here's the here's the here's the, here's something that you have to just be a little bit careful about. When you have different classmates, they don't know you, so they may try to pick with you. Just make sure with your hands. You just make sure you stay strong, okay? Mikey's living too, right? Yes. He's going to kindergarten, right? Yes. I think we should help keep him over here.